Good morning to all of you. Now the technician. Good morning to all of you. Now the technical session is going to start by our chief guest, Mr. V. S. S. Shastri, mathematics scientist, Vinyan Racha, New Delhi. Good morning to all of you. Now the technician. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to one and all. Now the technician. I welcome you know to this technical session. So I am a origamian and also a mathematician. So origamian means you know that I do lot of origami and I do you know lot of you know paper folding. Origami, as you know, is a Japanese word. Well, you know, worry means to fold and common is paper. Good morning to all of you. All of you. Now, now, the technical the session, session, session is going, going to start, going to start by our chief guest, Mr. V. S. V. S. Shastri, mathematics scientist, scientist, Vinyan Raja, Raja, New Delhi. New Delhi. Make a flower, etc. That exactly is worrying. Good morning to all of you. All of you. What is now? Now, the technician. Good morning to all of you. All of you. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to all of you. Good morning, good morning to all of you, all of you. Now the technician, technician. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to all of you. Now the technician, Good morning to all of you. All of you. Now, now, middle session, session is going to going to start. Where are we? Where are we? Mr. V. V. S. 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 Three. Mathematics scientist, scientist. Vinaya Raja, Raja. New Delhi. New Delhi. Good morning to all of you. All of you. Now, the now mission, mission, mission. Good morning to all of you. All of you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, the now mission, mission. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to all 
Just to display, you know, certain examples, you know, now. You are seeing here, you know, a cube, a white cube. So see, you know, what happens. So I just, you know, do it like this, like this. So the white cube itself, you know, changes in you know, a color. So not only that. When I just open it, just see, you know, what happens. It gets separated. And this is the cube, you know, you are having, you know, inside. This is the model you are having inside. And not only that, this one. So inside, you know, this cube, these were the stellated models, you know, which were inside. So this is a kind of an engineering problem, not, a, you know, a kind of ordinary uh, origami or paper folding. Just observe, you know, how it is just one goes, you know, inside the other. I open it. So this is the negative. And this is the positive. And one goes inside the other. So this is the kind of a modern origami, you know, with mathematics, you know, what we are interested about in doing it. And I draw also, you know, I draw your attention to the way you know it just you know unfolds how many kinds of a faces you know this is the mathematical problem how many kinds of a faces you know you can you can just see the transformation of faces every time you know 90 at 90 degrees you know we just you know turn and look at the way you know it just the faces you know gets you know transformed 
So this is also sold you know, commercially in very many ways as moving cubes. But it is not you know, just you know, moving cubes. It is an engineering kind of a problem. So I will show you, you know, another model. So this looks like an you know, ordinary uh, Photostat copy you know, cover. So it is very, very under folded, you know, zigzag. In fact, it has got, you know, a kind of an engineering problem and also a story, you know, to tell. So just observe, you know, what happens. When it is just, you know, open like this, just one push, just one push, it just, you know, opens up, you know, like this. So this is called as, you know, Miura folding. So go to internet and see what do you mean by, you know, Miura. Koyo Miura was a Japanese scientist, a botanist. So Japan people, you know, they uh, sent one uh, moon probe, you know, 10 years ago. They had a particular problem. The problem was that it, this is a problem, you know, for every kind of a satellite we send in outside. Satellite, you know, does should have, you know, batteries. We cannot put, you know, car batteries or lead batteries, you know, into it. So satellites have to depend solely upon the solar batteries. Solar batteries have a problem. You must have seen, you know, satellite. What do you mean by satellite? A satellite will be there, and on the left and also in the right, there will be in you know, rectangular panels. So this kind of a panels absorb, you know, the energy of the sun and then supply it to the satellite. And there also there is a problem because let us say this is the Earth, and satellite is going, you know, around the Earth. Once, you know, this it comes, you know, behind the Earth, it cannot get the energy from the sun so 50 percent of the time the energy you know is not absorbed by the solar panels this is the problem so japanese government advertised uh, you know to for a kind of a uh, folding where it see the solar panels you know can receive more than 50 percent of the solar energy and koyo miura he was a japanese professor a botany professor he came up you know with this kind of a folding so at one push, and there is a second problem. All the kind of a solar panels, you know, have to be cramped together, and it has to be sent to space. And once it is in the space, it has to just open up, and also receive more energy than uh, you know the previous uh, uh, solar panels. So this kind of a holding, which you are seeing in you know, a lots of parallel pipe parallelograms, it is at 110 degrees, 110.5 degrees. So that is a kind of a different mathematics act together. But the fact is that it is it opens in you know, a single push, and also the efficiency of the solar panels improves by 30 percent. That means to say, hardly there is a kind of a 20 percent wastage. So the Japanese science, the solar probes or the satellites, when they just you know sent it you know to the space, use this kind of a mirror of holding. Go to internet and see what do you mean by you know this kind of mirror of holding. So these two examples I am just showing it to you because how mathematics and engineering I have combined it together, and uh, and it is the uh, cutting edge technology you know which is happening you know now. Now I draw also your attention to the A4 size paper. The A4 size paper is universally used and it is the ordinarily called Xerox paper. But A4 size paper is not an ordinary one. It has got you know some kind of a mathematics behind it. Now let us go and see what do you mean by you know this A4 size paper PPT share. Yeah. This we have to share. Okay. Second. Okay. Yeah. So if nowadays we generally we generally use you know this uh, A4 size paper. I have displayed, you know, this uh, Tamil Nadu paper, Bills Limited, you know, this paper. So who discovered this A4 size? There is a history. 
So this is the kind of a British system, you know, everybody was following. And in fact, we were also you know, following this. Please see that 24 sheets means, you know, one choir. In fact, in our days, in our younger days, getting, you know, one choir of paper, you know, was a kind of a big thing. So next, just to follow it up, there is a fool's cap, crown, demi, royal, imperial, double fool's cap, double crown, double demi, etc. Look at the fool's cap itself. It is 13 and a half inches and also, you know, 17 inches. That is the size. And when you just, you know, see the, all the kind of a proportions, you will see that there is no kind of a rationale, you know, in it. There is no kind of a connection, you know, between the one, one sizes and other sizes. But on the other hand, there is something called a you know, full cap. So another, all other names are okay. Why is this kind of a full cap? Okay, let us see, you know, the kind of a video, you know. Uh, come back. Come back. Full cap, full cap. Yes. Please see. These days we write on paper. These days we write on paper like this. It's called A4. It's a particular size and shape. Not so long ago, we used to use paper like this, rather bigger, or at least longer. And it was called fool's cap. What a peculiar name. How did they get their name? Well, some people think it's because you could curl it around like this into a sort of a cone, and you would put it on the heads of people who are a bit silly and make a dunce's cap. And they sat in the corner with a dunce's cap there, and it was known as a fool's cap. Not so. That's not the origin. It all goes back to a watermark. What's that? Well, you've probably seen a watermark. In fact, if you have a piece of paper money, it's got a watermark in it. It's a proof that the money isn't counterfeit. So have a look at this. Looking at it straight on, or at least with the light on this side, you can't see much at all. But rotate it with the light coming through it, and you'll see, lo and behold, up comes a picture. Just there. That's the watermark. It's a picture hidden in the fibers of the paper by a special process. And it's uh, a way of checking that your money is really okay. Well, the original fool's cap had one of those too. You can't see it in this form. There it is, down in the bottom right hand corner, but there's nothing to be seen. It's just ordinary paper. Until you put it into water. And you just do that. Dunk that corner into this bowl and let it soak into the fibers and it does wondrous things for the watermark. So hold it up again. You can see shining through there, a picture is beginning to show. It's a funny sort of shape, but in fact, it is the hat of a jester. Now, hundreds of years ago, jesters were well, quite favorite people. They keep in one years at court. They wore an interesting costume. And one of the parts of the costume was a cap with bills. And that's a picture of the rather ornate cap you see there. It was the jester's cap or the fool's cap. It was a watermark put in to prove that this paper was the real thing. And the name fool's cap has persisted with it to this day. Yeah, that's something I was saying. Yes, you can speak. Yes. So this video, you know, you just saw. What do you mean by you know this full cap? But now you know we don't use that. We use you know A4 size paper. So this is the story of that A4 size paper. Lichtenberg was a mathematician and also, you know, he was a power printer. Power printer means, you know, that he used to have, you know, for printing machines, some kind of a electric power. So, but in 1786, this mathematician noted that the sides of a rectangle that is one is to root to two, when divided in half, retains, you know, the same kind of a ratio. That's where, you know, it became important for him to devise this. How to get this, you know, this root two, one is to root two? Okay, draw a square, draw a diagonal, measure the diagonal, you know, with the compass, and draw an arc diagonal length, and then complete this rectangle. So this is that rectangle, one is to root two. So the Lazare Cornot is another name associated with this A4 paper. But nobody, Lichtenberg, you know, when he said that this kind of one is to root two could be the standard, nobody listened to him. Then came, you know, this French Revolution. When the French Revolution, you know, came, that they wanted to do something new, something the, all the old things, you know, they wanted to go and done it away, and they wanted to do something new. That's why, you know, they introduced what we now call as metric systems. 
in fact for everything you know metric 10 times 10 times 10 times etc that, that is called as a metric system in fact they had in a metric time also but subsequently it did not uh, it just you know faded away then the government also to cornard in fact do you remember this name lazare cornard in fact you must thermodynamics people in love will know the cornard cycle in fact lazare cornard's son was that job cornard who had discovered you know that cornard cycle then the government you know as it goes cornard they asked cornard you know to devise you know some kind of a system to replace the uh, the earlier system so the traditional government size paper was just you know done away and he introduced this paper called you know a2 a3 b b4 b5 all based upon one is to root two uh, but it was not for the ordinary use it was for the judiciary so then you know comes you know this man walter portsman so germany was in forefront of technology in the early part of the 20th century all the kind of engineering standards in fact were discovered uh, implemented by germans alone in fact because you know they were in the forefront you must remember the uh, galaxy of scientists you know german uh, produced including einstein including planck including uh, you know very many mathematicians of the day including hinden by heidelberg etc so all the kind of uh, stars you know of germany uh, as we only comparison thing is that america now uh, we find that in america all the kind of intelligent people concentrated nobel laureates concentrated in america it was the case in early 20th century as far as you know germany was concerned so in germany in 1922 walter portsman was the director of standards in germany he reintroduced this lichtenberg's idea of paper sizes he called it din paper doish integrated newspaper something like that so a four size paper this this time his idea was you know of area so area you know he means you know one square meter for area he took it as standard and that was a zero paper and india adopted this kind of a system in 1957 in 1975 international standard organization itself you know adopted it that's how you know it came you know all over the world and the computers also you know adopted this kind of a formula so so this is the story of a4 size paper but the point is whenever you have you know for this a4 size paper please know that it is a mathematical object it is an object which has got the ratio of a rectangle 1 is to root to 2 so you saw you know this a4 size paper and these are the kind of sizes a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 etc each differs you know from the other by 1 is to root 2 and and for example when you just in you know, a4 a0 paper when you cut into half it is again in you know, a1 paper and, and retains that kind of a ratio 1 is to root 2 so this process you know just goes on so not only this a1 we are having you know another called you know this business paper called you know b1 b2 b3 etc in fact as engineering students you must be you know aware about this because for engineering drawing usually you know this kind of a paper is preferred so there is apart from this there is also a kind of a c1 paper c paper so a b c are the three different kinds of sizes which uh, internationally you know we just you know use it but in but individually we are familiar with a4 a4 size paper that's how you know it is so many times you know the folding paper also involves the folding the paper means you know folding the paper you know together so let us say you know what happens you know when we just you know fold the paper so this is the a4 size paper so when we just you know fold this paper you know like this you know what happens when we hold this kind of a paper there will definitely there will be a kind of a line so again you know when we just in you know, the fold the paper what happens again we will be having you know four divisions so like this you know when you just go on folding the paper and you know, what happens so we can go on folding it like this and popularly it is uh, it said that for any paper for example this largest paper we have is only the newspaper any paper you cannot fold it for more than you know eight times but whether it is true so that's where you know the mathematics you know comes in in one of the mathematics classes 
this kind of same kind of a thing you know was told any kind of a paper you cannot hold it you know for more than eight times so people you know have been believing it since 300 to 400 years but one girl called you know Brittany Gullivan what she did was she wanted to experiment it so after the class she went to the loo so in the bathroom or in the toilet as we just call it in India you find you know the paper because the toilet paper she took the toilet paper and began to hold to her astonishment she holded it more than eight times so then she came and discussed in you know, other things you know with the, her teachers and she produced a paper mathematical paper about this folding of the paper process itself so for the first time you know in the world for the first time you know in the last 300 years Brittany Gullivan proved that any paper can be folded more than eight times and here is the video you please enjoy yeah share the video hello i'm Brittany gallivan have you ever heard the commonly accepted belief that no one can fold a piece of paper or anything in half more than eight times <laughs> That was six folds for this piece of paper back in 2001. My honors pre calculus instructor challenged anyone in the class to fold anything in half 12 times. This is a sheet of gold foil, four inches by four inches, 11 millionths of an inch thin. It is actually thinner than the wavelength of visible light. I folded the four by four inch gold foil in half. 12 times. My teacher stated that he had misspoken and that the challenge was actually to fold any piece of paper in half 12 times. The paper folding challenge is often used as an example of exponential growth. If you fold paper in half 50 times, you could reach the sun. Every time you fold the paper, you double. What people weren't taking into account for was the radius section. In an initial fold, the radius section is minimal. As the folds get larger, this radius section takes up more and more paper. Although this doubles, the amount of paper that you need in the radius section for each fold actually squares. As the number of folds increases, you need four times the length to achieve the next fold. I derived two limiting equations for folding anything in half. One was for single direction when solving for length pi times the thickness over 6 multiplied by e to the n plus 4 times 2 to the n minus 1. And then the second equation was for alternate direction. Width is going to equal pi times thickness times 2 to the 3 n minus 1 divided by 2. I researched online and found paper that was 32,000 of an inch thin that was 4,000 feet in length. I quickly realized that material this thin was not going to work because the slightest breeze would ruin the attempt. I found a space called the village at Indian Hill in Pomona. It had a long corridor that would suffice to take on this challenge. After eight hours of crawling on the mall floor, I was able to successfully fold the paper in half 12 times. This year is the 11th fold. It's great to be in the record book and to finally set the paper folding record straight. I hope that others can look at this challenge and take it on themselves and maybe you can expand on it and take on their own impossible challenge. Yeah. So what is the moral of the story? Moral of the story is that even though you know we have been using you know Air Force paper you know for hundreds of years at least you know 300 years nobody you know tried you know to hold it you know and see that whether it is can be folded you know, more than eight times so it was only a high school girl called in you know, a Brittany Gullivan you know who tried to do it so there is a second point you know here so never believe the ordinary mathematical concept which has been told to you you know by your teachers always you know try to experiment and sometimes if you have that kind of odd luck you can just do as good as you know Brittany Kalivan. So I have been telling you regarding in you know, a paper holding. 
I have it just showed you know displayed you know certain of the models, and I have also told you you know that paper can be folded you know more than eight times, and also you know I have told you about you know Robert Lang, so I have to mention this you know Robert Lang. So nowadays you you get you know these apps also you know, in your phone that uh, is regarding you know the position of the you know this uh, Skylab. Skylab you know actually you can spot it you know from uh, the Earth whenever you know Skylab you know is going you know around. There is a kind of an app which just shows you that in your phone place, let us say, you know, Kumbakonam, for your latitude, how you can spot, you know, the Skylab. So Skylab is a kind of a, a mathematical object, which is, you know, at about 300 kilometers, you know, above. And you can see, actually, you know, that kind of a Skylab. So there is another kind of a mathematical object, you know, there. That is called as, you know, the telescope. That is called, you know, Hubble telescope. So you must have seen, you know, the images of the Hubble telescope. In fact, you know, black holes, you know, merging together. Also, you know, Hubble telescope in that particular region, it just, you know, showed. Hubble telescope is getting aged. Hubble telescope is already, you know, 12 years old. So it cannot function, you know, uh, more. Because a lot of, you know, this kind of a dust has collected in on the mirror and it cannot be just, you know, cleaned. And also, it just, you know, the height of the Hubble telescope is coming down, 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 down to jack, just, you know, jack it up. It requires, you know, more money. So NASA, you know, wants to do, wanted to do. So to replace, you know, that Hubble telescope, lots and lots of ideas, you know, came up. So it also, you know, came up that, you know, they make, take a thin metal foil, thin metal foil, you know, put it up, you know, in the space. Let us say that thin metal foil is, you know, about one kilometer, you know, long. So one kilometer, you know, diameter, thin metal foil, parabolic mirror, you know, you have, then what is the power of that kind of a telescope, you know, if you were to construct. So, but the problem is how to get that kind of a metal foil so of one kilometer, you know, di uh, metal foil, you know, up to the, the space, because everything has to be crampled together and put it on the, the front of the uh, rocket or the nose of the rocket. So this was the problem. Go to internet and see Robert Lang. Robert Lang was given this kind of a problem, how to hold, you know, a metal foil, I know, and send it, you know, to the space. He has come up with so many ideas and his ideas, you know, have been implemented, you know, now. In fact, last month, one spacecraft, you know, has gone to the space to, as a preliminary kind of a thing, you know, to uh, taking, you know, this kind of a metal mirrors of hexagon shaped metal mirrors, which have been holded and put, you know, in the place, you know, in rocket nose, as per, you know, the uh, design by Robert Lang. Just like Koyo Miro, Miura designed, you know, the, for the solar panels, Robert Lang designed for the telescope, and then, you know, he sent it. So this is a kind of engineering problem, you know, which is happening, you know, nowadays. So now you must be, you know, very curious also to see that, you know, whether this Varigame and mathematics taught what stage, you know, it is. If MIT, MIT is the research institution, which is world famous. In fact, the number of uh, Nobel laureates, you know, which Massachusetts Institute of Technology has produced, it uh, nobody has, you know, else, you know, has produced. There is one professor called Eric Demine, you know, in that uh, MIT. Eric Demine is a peculiar uh, professor. He is a professor for origami and also, you know, mathematics. So. Once you know it has gone to kind of that level, whether the origami has developed to such an extent of replacing you know mathematics itself, whether you know origami can have some kind of a discipline of mathematics. Yes, it can. In fact, I will show you what has been you know accepted. In fact, it has been it is a growing science now. What has been accepted you know as axioms of origami and mathematics, PPT. Come back. Origami PPT. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Axioms. Yes. Yes. That's all. Share. So it is under photo. Yeah. Yes. 
Yes, you are seeing these kind of axioms. These are also called as, you know, Fujita Hattori axioms. Now, this is the first set of axioms. Of course, I told you the system is getting, getting you know, developed. For example, axiom one, given two points P1 and P2, there is a unique fold line that passes through the both points. So like this in you know, axioms, you know, go on, but it has to be understood in next photo I want. Next, next, yeah. Yes, this, you know, point you, know, you can understand, you know, very well. Given two points, you know, P1 and P2, we can hold a line, you know, connecting them. This is the first kind of an axiom. So given, you know, two points, P1 and P2, you can hold, you know, this P1 upon this P2. See, that is the second axiom. So given the lines, you know, L1, L1 and L2, we can always, you know, hold a line, you know, passing through that kind of an intersection. Given as point in a P1 L P1 L line, P P1 is a line, we can also make a hold perpendicular to it. That means to say in geometrical terms, for any kind of a line, we can draw always a perpendicular. Given in you know, two points P1 and P2, upon the lines in you know, L1 and L2, we can always you know, make a one line you know, passing you know, between them. So like this, you know, the axioms you know continue. Like this, you know, the axioms you know continue. And uh, Yes, he is the person you know called you know Eric Demine. See, look at the look at him. He is a very very young boy of about uh, thirty two years, and look at the background you know what he has. All the kind of a papers in you know, paper holdings you know he has made you know he has. He is the you see, now you know sitting professor for mathematics and origami in MIT, and uh, his uh, PhD thesis it is available on the net. It is called as in you know, a paper folding problem. Yes. Yes, he is Eric Demine, the same person. And lessons I have learned is you just to see, you know, his kind of a philosophy. Have fun, do more than one thing. See, this is important. Do more than one thing, collaborate, always you know, cooperate with others and cross disciplines. So definitely, you know, science and the mathematics, you know, today is depends upon, you know, these things. They have fun. That is one important thing. Whatever you do, you know, you should not grudgingly do it or don't choose a subject, you know, which you do not like and do more than one thing at a time. So that is very important. Till the date, nobody has told you, you know, this. In fact, you know, your, art, your parents or teachers, you know, say concentrate on one thing, you know, to do. Only concentrate on the thing, you know, what you are having in hand. But Eric Demine says, do more than one thing, opposite to that. So next, collaborate. So don't do the research, you know, only for yourself. Always, you know, collaborate because just like you, other people also, you know, have ideas. That's why, you know, collaboration means the kind of a speedier kind of a, a, a result, you know, you can achieve. Then cross disciplines. Always, you know, one kind of a discipline and another, you know, you have to just, you know, cross over. So that is the kind of a science you know made you know nowadays. Yeah. Yes. No, it is not acting. Yes. And there are also uh, very many theorems you know in uh, origami and mathematics. This is called as you know Haga's theorem. Haga's theorem lets the paper holders hold the side of a square into thirds, fifths, sevenths, and ninths. In fact, when you take you know any kind of a square, how to make how to make divide the square itself is a very big mathematical problem. That means to say the fractions are very big problem. In fact, even in ordinary mathematics, dividing you know any kind of an integer into kind of a fractions is a big problem. Just like that, the, we are also having that kind of a problem. So this Hogarth problem, and also just observe you know this. There is also another theorem you know, called Kawasaki theorem. Without a mountain valley, mountain holder hold means that when you hold a paper, when it is appears you know, on the edge, that is called a mountain hold. When you reverse it, it appears like a valley, that is called as you know, a valley hold. So there is also a theorem called Kawasaki theorem. So the angles, you know, what when you just you know hold it, the theta one, theta one, etc. You know, the, these people have just shown you. 
so there is also a kind of a theorem called in you know, a kawasaki theorem and there is another theorem called in you know, a mayakawa theorem so the difference between the number of mountain folds and also in you know, a valley folds increases by one when increase the vertex in you know, a by two so all these things you know uh, i can just show you you know by kind of a copy paper holding but the time is not but i am what i am impressing you is that origami and mathematics you know has come to stay and we are having axioms we are having you know theorems also you know in it so this is a math proof of hagas theorem so this is the kind of a this is the book uh, you know by look at the name it is the meenakshi mukherjee look at the name she is an indian meenakshi mukherjee as it happens she was from iit karakpur and electrical engineering you know she did as it happens in, in india she married an american and settled in america and became a, a housewife so having been in a housewife she did not forget her roots or uh, her learning that is very that is mathematics so she began to search a kind of a great expression for mathematics you know what she has learned and she found it in origami she has written you know this wonderful book called exquisite modular origami so whatever you know she has learned you know in uh, class as uh, in mathematics she implements you know, in origami and she has written you know this book and she is now the present craze uh, you know uh, in in the world regarding you know mathematics and origami and she is uh, meenakshi mukherji and uh, origami and there are certain problems you know which in uh, geometry called you know trisection of a triangle doubling the cube etc those are the age old kind of a problems which are not solved uh, you know in uh, ordinary mathematics but in origami trisection of angle is possible and doubling the cube is also you know possible this is the how uh, you know the hisoshi abe one person you know from japan in 1980 he solved this problem of, of trisection of an angle yeah that's it Get a frame. So you have seen, and I have also displayed to you that you know this origami and the mathematics has come to stay. In fact, go to please uh, explore the internet that there are seven conferences already of origami and uh, interdisciplinary sciences. It is called as International Conference and Origami and Other Sciences. If you were to go to Eric Demine's you know site. so he has put you know all those kind of a papers research papers which are there you know in uh, in origami so and mathematics so please go through it and i am told you know that you are having a vibrant mathematics uh, club and in the mathematics club you please explore you know these kind of a things and i am sure that if you were to dwell you for 10 to 20 people of you you know were to dwell you know into this you will definitely you know come out with a kind of a new idea because it is a kind of a developing subject so i told you about hagas theorem mayakawa theorem etc when you just you know go through it you will come to understand that that you know they are just you know simple theorems simple observations of course though even though they are simple observations you they require you know mathematical proof so mathematical proof is the one you know which you have to do out of collaboration as eric De eric demain says out of discussion in math club out of collaboration etc so i am sure that you know if you can you know dwell upon it or a period of you know let us say you know 5 to 8 6 months you will have you know grip on the subject and you will yourself you know will discover you know some kind of a, uh, some kind of a property some kind of a theorem etc so i am here you know to introduce to you to your mathematics club this kind of a origami and, and mathematics don't think that this is a kind of a strange marriage between you know these two subjects in fact origami and mathematics is a living subject and it is a kind of a thriving subject and a throbbing subject you know today and mathematics clubs are the ones you know which have to engage you know with it because in the ordinary course it has not at all been you know, prescribed in you know, for us you know in any kind of a textbook that's why we have to go out of the textbook to see whether you know such things are possible so please remember what eric de mine you know has said you have to cross you know barriers you have to cross you know the kind of a disciplines that's important thing do more than you know one thing at a time this nobody has told you only eric demine you know tells you so 
mathematics and also in origami but all this the simplicity of the problem is that you require only a simple paper a4 size paper and do anything and everything only with a4 size paper so uh, this is my introduction to you regarding you know mathematics and origami and here i am here you know to reply you if you have you know any questions thank you very much if you have any questions you can ask or you can you know in the chat box you know you can just you know put it students if you have any queries from mathematics and origami and origami feel free to ask and also put your questions in our chat box also in the chat box you know you can just ask or can you raise your hand don't put thanksgiving chat in the chat box <laughs> i know you people you know will thank me but the thing is you have to raise questions there are no questions so i end this so friends if you have any questions of our mathematics and origami feel free to ask okay yeah school fund yes is there any link between you know origami and trigonometry definitely there is a link in fact you know origami trigonometric ratios you know you can uh, demonstrate you know in uh, origami folds so definitely mathematics means you know generally it is a trigonometry is always you know included paper folding and trigonometry you know just go together so there is a definitely a link okay i suggest you know certain kind of a problems derivative whether you know there is a derivative you can do in the paper folding that is a problem you can take it in the mathematics club or there are very there are very many curves you know uh, seen here very many curves in mathematical curves is there a way you know to replicate you know those kind of mathematical curves so that's the kind of problem you can take you know in your mathematics club adana alu thorale eduthu pola andana vandiya saathu nikkide that's all okay thank you so thank you very much thank you குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சியா இருக்கு எல்லாத்தையும் பாக்குறதுக்கு சார் கம்ப்ளீட்லி டெலிவரிங் என்ஜாயிங் இட் அண்ட்லி ஐ ஹோப் தட் இஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் யூ மைட் பி பிராக்டிசிங் வித் சம் பேப்பர்ஸ் அங்க பேப்பர் வச்சு செஞ்சிட்டு இருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் நான் ரொம்ப அற்புதமான நிகழ்வு மிகப்பெரிய வாய்ப்பு இந்தியாவில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு ஒரு விஞ்ஞானிகள்ல கணித விஞ்ஞானிகள்ல 
ஒரு முன்னோடி விஞ்ஞானி பெரிய அளவுக்கு சயின்ஸை கம்யூனிகேட் பண்ணி மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் கம்யூனிகேட் பண்ணிக்கிட்டு இருக்கக்கூடிய கூட நீங்க என்ன இன்ட்ராக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறீங்க கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா அவரை தான் அங்க அப்பா இது பண்ணிருக்காங்க கம்ப்ளீட்லி தமிழ் இந்தியா போறோம் நினைக்கிறேன் <laughs> 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 மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ்ங்கிறது ஒன்று ஆஸ் அ கால்குலேஷன்ங்கிறது நாங்கள் சொல்லுவோம் நாங்கள் இப்போ ஒரு பயாலஜி ஸ்டேட் டீச்சர் பயாலஜியில் எடுத்துனாக்கா ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோமெட்ரியை வச்சு நாங்கள் மெஷர் ஒரு சாரமா ஒரு லிக்விட் இருக்கு ஒரு திரவத்தை அதோட அடர்த்தி டென்சிட்டியை பற்றியோ இதை பற்றியோ அதில் உள்ள மாலிகூல்ஸை பற்றி நாங்கள் ஸ்டடி பண்ணிச்சுனாக்கா அது ஒரு வாய்ப்பு இருக்கும் அப்படி அது பயோடெக்னாலஜி போன்றதில் பெரிய அளவுக்கு அப்ளை ஆகிட்டு இருக்கும் அல்லது ஒரு டிஎன்ஏ அதனுடைய மாலிகுலர் வெயிட் அது மாலிகுலர் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரை பற்றி மெஷர் பண்ணணும்னா கூட அதுக்கு பயன்படும் உங்களுக்கு அதே மாதிரி இன்ஜினியரிங்ல பார்த்தா இசி மெக்கானிக்கல் இதெல்லாம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னாக்கா அதோட ஒவ்வொரு காம்பனும் உதவியா இருக்கும் கோவிட் காலத்திலையும் இந்த நம்ம அரசு இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ்ல இந்த பெசிலிட்டிஸ் அந்த ஏற்பாட்டை பண்ணிருக்காங்க அநேகமா தமிழகத்தில் இந்தியாவில் வேறு யாருக்கும் கிடைக்காத மிகப்பெரிய வாய்ப்பு அரசு இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கிடைச்சிருக்குன்னு சொல்லி நம்ம பார்க்க வேண்டி இருக்கு அதனால நீங்க வந்து நல்லா அவைல் பண்ணிக்கலாம் யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் நிறைய இன்டராக்ட் பண்ணலாம் இப்ப சார் மறுபடியும் லைன்ல ஜாயின் பண்றப்ப இப்ப நாஸ்கோ மெனி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அவட்டு நிறைய நீங்க இன்டராக்ட் பண்ணி கேள்விகளும் கேட்கலாம் அவங்க நல்லா சொல்லுவாங்க அந்த மாதிரி நிறைய அவங்க சொல்லியிருப்பாங்க எப்படி ஒரு மாதிரி அந்த ட்ரையாங்கிள்ஸ் அந்த ட்ரையாங்கிள்ஸ் இருக்கக்கூடிய வரலாறுகளை பத்தி எல்லாம் சொல்லியிருப்பாங்க கணித மேதை ராமானுஜத்தோட நூத்தி முப்பத்தி மூணாவது நினைவு ஆண்டு இது நம்ம வந்து நூத்தி முப்பத்தி மூணாவது பிறந்த நாள் நூறாவது நினைவு ஆண்டுன்னு சொல்லி கொண்டாடிட்டு இருக்கிறோம் நேற்று கும்பகோணம் டவுன்ல டவுன் ஹை ஸ்கூல்ல அவர் படிச்ச டவுன் ஹை ஸ்கூல்ல அவர் படிச்ச கல்லூரியில அவர் வாழ்ந்து வீட்டுல நேற்று விழாக்கள் நடந்தது இன்னைக்கு எல்லாம் பத்திரிகை எல்லாம் வந்திருக்கும் எல்லாம் பாத்திருப்பீங்க டிவிலயும் வந்தது கணித மேதை ராமானுஜத்தை ஏன் அப்படி நம்ம கொண்டாட வேண்டியிருக்குன்னு சொன்னாக்க கணித மேதி ராமானுஜம் தான் அந்த ஒரு ஜீரோவை கண்டுபிடித்ததும் அல்லது இந்தியாவில அந்த கணிதத்திற்கான அவர் உருவாக்கியிருக்கூடிய மூவாயிரம் தேற்றங்கள் தான் இன்னைக்கு வந்து இன்னைக்கு கருந்துளையை பத்தி பிளாக் ஹோலை பத்தி நம்ம ஆய்வு பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஹிக் போஸ்கோன் பார்த்திகள் சொல்லி ஸ்வீடன்ல மிகப்பெரிய ஆராய்ச்சி உயிரினங்கள் அல்லது இந்த பூமி தோற்றத்தை பத்தி பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க ஆராய்ச்சி பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க அதே மாதிரி நிறைய உங்களுக்கு சொல்லக்கூடிய ப்ரோட்டான் நியூட்ரான் எலக்ட்ரான் இந்த மாதிரிலாம் நம்ம சொல்லிட்டு இருக்கோம் அப்படி இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒவ்வொன்றை பற்றியும் அளவிடுவதற்கெல்லாம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னாக்கா இன்னைக்கு கணிதங்கள் இன்னைக்கு பெரிய அளவுக்கு பயன்பட்டு இருக்கு அந்த கணிதத்தை பூரா வடிவமைத்து குடித்தவ குடுத்ததே இன்னைக்கு வந்து அவரோட அந்த தேற்றங்கள் தான் அந்த தேற்றங்களை பத்தி இன்னும் உலக அளவில் இன்னும் ஆராய்ச்சி பண்ணிட்டு எல்லா தேற்றங்களையும் இன்னும் அவங்களால சால்வ் பண்ண முடியல இன்னும் அவர் வாழ்ந்த காலத்துக்கு முன்னாடி இருந்த தேற்றங்களை விட தேற்றங்கள் கூடுதலான தேற்றங்களை அவர் உருவாக்கி இருக்கிறாரு அவரோட லைஃப் டைம்ல அவருக்கு இருந்த அந்த நெருக்கடிகள் பிரச்சனைகள் அப்படி பாத்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னாக்கா உண்மையிலேயே நான் ஒரு எளிய வாழ்க்கையில அவர் வாழ்ந்துடல அவர் பிறந்த உடனேயே பாத்தீங்கன்னா அங்க ஒரு ஊர் ஊரா போய் கடைசியா வந்து கும்பகோணத்துல வந்து படிக்க வேண்டிய ஒரு சூழல் ஏற்பட்டுச்சு கும்பகோணத்துல அந்த ஏழ்மையான குடும்பத்தில் ஒரு துணி வியாபார இதுல இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு எழுத்தை பணியாற்றக்கூடிய உங்களோட குடும்பத்துல இருந்துட்டு படிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சு அவருக்கு உடனே ஒரு பேப்பர் வாங்குவதோ படிப்பதோ ஒரு கஷ்டம் இல்லை உதவித்தொகை கிடைச்சத வச்சு டவுன் ஹை ஸ்கூல்ல கொஞ்சம் படிச்சாரு கல்லூரி படிப்பை தொடர முடியாம போச்சு அதுக்கப்புறம் பச்சையப்பா காலேஜ் இப்ப மட்டும் திரும்பி நோய்வாய்ப்பட்டு இறந்து போயிருவோமோங்கிற அளவுக்கு அவர் வந்து ஊருக்கு வர்றாரு ஆப்ரேஷன் ஆகி அப்ப கொடுத்து அவர் போட்ட அந்த ஒர்க் அவுட் பண்ண சம் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் எல்லாம் கொடுத்து வர்றாரு நான் இறந்து போயிட்டா இது நம்ம நாட்டை ஒப்படைங்கன்னு சொல்லிட்டு வர்றாரு அவர் திரும்பி அப்படி பாக்குறோம் அப்படி வரலாறுகள் முழுக்க அவருக்கு பார்த்தா அதே மாதிரி ஒரு வேலை கிடைக்காம சாப்பிட வழி இல்லாம போய் ஒரு ஹார்பர்ல போய் அது சென்னை ஹார்பர்ல அவர் ஒர்க் பண்றது அவருக்கு உதவியவர்கள் நிறைய அவரோட கட்டுரைகளை வெளிநாட்டுக்கு அனுப்பிச்சு வெளிநாடுகள்ல அவரோட கட்டுரையை பார்த்து இவ்வளவு பெரிய மூளை இவ்வளவு பெரிய சிந்தனை இவ்வளவு பெரிய தேட்டம் உலக விஞ்ஞானிகள் கூட உயர்ந்து போறாங்க அங்க போய் நான்கு ஆண்டுகள் ஐந்து ஆண்டுகளுக்குள்ளார இன்றும் இன்னும் மூவாயிரம் ஆண்டுகளுக்கு இன்னும் முப்பதாயிரம் ஆண்டுகள் ஆனாலும் அந்த கணிதத்தை விஞ்சுவதற்கு வேற கணிதம் இல்லை என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவிற்கான ஒரு விஞ்ஞான சாதனையை நம்ம ஊர்ல நம்ம பள்ளியில நம்ம கல்லூரிகளில் படித்த ஒரு ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய மேதை உருவாக்கி இருக்கிறான்னு சொல்லி பாக்குறோம் அந்த கணித சூத்திரங்கள் எல்லா பிரச்சனைக்குமான சொல்யூஷன் தீர்வை கொடுக்கக்கூடியது இந்த மேன் ஹூ நோஸ் இன்பைனிட்டி என்று சொல்வார்கள் அப்படி வந்து முடிவில்லாதவற்றை பற்றியும் அறிந்து கொண்ட ஒரு மனிதன் என்று
இந்தியாவில விஞ்ஞான பிரச்சாரம் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அமைப்பு இந்தியாவில் அத்தனை மாநிலங்களிலும் அத்தனை மொழிகளிலும் இந்த ஓராண்டு காலம் அவர்களை கொண்டாடி இருக்கிறார்கள் சொல்லி பாக்குறோம் வரிசையா கொண்டாடிட்டு இருக்க ஒவ்வொரு மாதமா கொண்டாடிய சிறப்பாக இங்கே பிறந்த நாளின் போது இங்க நமக்கு இதுல இங்க இருக்கக்கூடிய பள்ளியிலும் கல்லூரியிலும் நம்முடைய டாக்டர் கார்த்திகேயன் சார் போன்றவர்கள்லாம் இங்க உள்ள நல்ல அமைய நல்ல ஆர்வலர்கள் பூரா அவரை வந்து பாராட்டினாங்கன்னு பார்த்தோம் இப்போ எல்லா மாநிலத்துக்கும் நேற்று கூட பார்த்தா மஞ்சு பார்கவா போன்ற மிகப்பெரிய விஞ்ஞானிகள் அவரை பத்தி பேசினதை பார்த்தோம் அப்ப நிறைய இன்னைக்கு வந்து உலகம் முழுவதும் கொண்டாடக்கூடிய ஒரு நபராக சின்ன வயதிலேயே மிக குறைந்த வயதில் ராயல் சொசைட்டி ஆப் லண்டன் மிக விருதை பெற்ற அந்த இதுல உறுப்பினரான மிகப்பெரிய விஞ்ஞானி என்கிற வகையில நம்ம வந்து அவரை பார்க்கிறோம் அவர் உடலில் மிகப்பெரிய ஒரு கட்டியை சுமந்து கொண்டு கருத்துல நிமிந்து கூட உட்கார முடியாத ஒரு வாழ்க்கையை வாழ்ந்தார் அவர் காசநோயால் பீடிக்கப்பட்டு அந்த கடினமான வாழ்க்கை அவர் வெளிநாடுகளுக்கு போறதுக்கு போகக்கூடாது வீட்டுல போட்ட தடை ஒரு பிராமண குடும்பத்தில் வெளிநாடு கடல் கடந்து போகக்கூடாதுன்னு அதை தாண்டி அவர் அங்கே சென்றார் அதனால அவர் குடும்பத்திலேயே அவருக்கு வந்து காரியங்கள்லாம் முடிச்சு ஒரு அவருடைய இறுதி சடங்கையே முடிச்சு பாத்தீங்கன்னா மனைவியை கூட அவரிடம் பிரித்தார்கள் திரும்பி வரும்போதும் கூட அவர் பார்த்தா அந்த நான்கு ஐந்து ஆண்டுகள் அவர் குடும்பத்தோடு எந்த தொடர்பும் இல்லை திரும்பி வந்த போதும் அவரை அணுகுவதற்கு குடும்பத்தினர் இல்லை அப்படிப்பட்ட காலத்திலும் கூட ஒரு பாரதியாரை போல அவர் இறந்து போனது கூட நாலு பேர் தான் தூக்கிட்டு போறதுக்கு ஆள் கூட இல்லை அப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு வாழ்க்கை ஆனால் இன்று உலகம் இன்றல்ல இந்த பூமி இருக்கிற வரை இந்த சொல்லக்கூடிய நம்ம யூனிவர்ஸ் இருக்கக்கூடிய வரை அவரை நினைவு கூறக்கூடிய அளவிற்கு நம்ம பார்க்கிறோம் சொல்லுவோம் நம்ம விஞ்ஞானிகள் எப்படிப்பட்ட சாதனைகளை நிகழ்த்தி இருக்கிறார்கள் என்று பார்க்கிற போது ஒரு பக்கம் மேக்னாத் சகாவ சொல்லுவோம் மேக்னாத் சகா ஒரு மீனவ குடும்பத்தில் பிறந்து இன்னைக்கு சூரியன்லையும் இருக்கக்கூடிய அத்தனை நட்சத்திரத்துல இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த வெப்பநிலையை மெஷர் பண்ணுவதற்கான அந்த அந்த சூத்திரத்தை கொடுத்தவர் ஒரு இந்திய விஞ்ஞானி இந்த சூத்திரத்திற்கெல்லாம் சூத்திரமாக இருக்கக்கூடிய கணிதத்தை கொடுத்தவர் நம்முடைய ராமானுஜம் என்று பார்க்கின்றோம் அப்படிப்பட்ட அந்த மிகப்பெரிய மேதையினுடைய அந்த மண்ணில் அந்த கும்பகோணத்தில் அந்த பகுதியில நீங்களாம் படிக்கிறீங்க அது குறிப்பாக அரசு இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் எதை சிறப்பிக்க வேண்டுமோ எதை பாராட்ட வேண்டுமோ எதை சொன்னால் அடுத்த தலைமுறை உற்சாகம் பெறுமோ அதையெல்லாம் செய்து காட்டக்கூடிய அது நடக்காதது செய்ய முடியாது என்று எதுவும் இல்லை என்று காட்டக்கூடிய ஒரு கல்லூரி நம்முடைய கல்லூரியாக இருக்கிறது அந்த கல்லூரியில இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு தேசிய நிகழ்வு என்பது ஒரு ராமானுஜின் பிறந்த நாள் ஒரு பக்கம் உங்களுக்கெல்லாம் கணித மேதை இன்னைக்கு இந்தியாவினுடைய கணித மேதையாக இருக்கக்கூடிய சாஸ்திரி இந்தியாவில் இன்னைக்கு கணிதத்தை மிக எளிய எளிய முறையில கற்றுக் கொடுக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு நிலையில் இருக்கக்கூடிய சாஸ்திரி அவர்கள் வருகை தந்திருப்பது மிகப்பெரிய வாய்ப்பாக இருக்குது அந்த வாய்ப்பை இன்னைக்கு நீங்க நல்லா பயன்படுத்திக்கணும் அவற்ற நிறைய நீங்க கேள்விகள் கேட்கலாம் இன்ட்ராக்ட் பண்ணலாம் அவரும் வரக்கூடிய காலங்களில் நீங்க எல்லாம் கல்லூரிக்கு திரும்பிய பிறகு நேரடியாக உங்களுக்கு வந்து அந்த மாதிரி பயிற்சிகளை கொடுத்து உங்களை வந்து என்டர்டைன் பண்ணக்கூடிய அந்த வாய்ப்பு என்போதும் நிச்சயமாக உருவாகும் அந்த வகையில இந்த கோவிட் காலத்துல ஒவ்வொரு மூமெண்டையும் ஒவ்வொரு நேரத்தையும் நீங்க முழுக்க நல்லபடியாக யூட்டிலைஸ் பண்ணணும் நீங்க உங்க துறைகள்ல எப்படி கணித மேதை ராமானுஜமோ அப்படி பல கணித மேதைகளாக பொறியியல் மேதைகளாக உலகம் போற்றக்கூடிய மேதைகளாக அரசு பொறியியல் கல்லூரி மாணவர்கள் நீங்கள் வர வேண்டும் திகழ வேண்டும் என்பதுதான் என்னுடைய ஆசை அதற்கான முயற்சிகள் தான் அந்த முயற்சி நீங்க பங்கெடுத்துக் கொண்டிருக்கக்கூடிய உளவு மாணவர்கள் நீங்கள் பங்கு கொண்டு பங்கெடுத்துக் கொண்டிருப்பது அநேகமாக இந்தியாவில அரசு கல்லூரி மாணவர்கள் போன்ற சிறந்த மாணவர்கள் இல்லை என்பதை நீங்க பரிசாற்றக்கூடிய வகையில்தான் அவ்வளவு பேரும் இன்னைக்கு போட்டி போட்டுக்கொண்டு பங்கெடுத்துக் கொண்டிருக்கிறீர்கள் இன்னும் சொல்ல போனால் கணிதத்திற்கென்ற ஒரு சிறப்பு கிளப் எல்லாம் வச்சு நடத்தக்கூடிய ஒரு கல்லூரியாக உங்கள் கல்லூரி இருக்குங்கிறதெல்லாம் ரொம்ப அற்புதமாக இருந்தது காலையிலே கல்லூரியுடைய சேர்மன் இங்க வந்துட்டாங்க அதே மாதிரி இங்க இருக்கக்கூடிய நம்ம கல்லூரி முதல்வர் பாலமுருகன் சார் கல்லூரியுடைய பேராசிரியர்கள் கூட நம்ம முத்தமிழ்ச்சிவன் சார் இவங்க நம்ம அனந்த் சார் உள்ள அவங்க எல்லாம் இங்க இருக்க பரிச்சமான அத்தனை பேராசிரியர்களும் இங்க இருந்து உங்களை பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்க இந்த ஏற்பாடுகளை செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் அவர்களும் இதெல்லாம் பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்க அட்டன் பண்ணி இங்க அந்த ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் அட்டன் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கிறாங்க அந்த வகையில மிக சிறப்பானது ஒரு இந்த நிகழ்வை நீங்கள் எல்லாம் பங்கேற்று சிறப்பிக்க வேண்டும் என்று சொல்லி அடுத்து இந்த ரெண்டு இந்த தினங்கள் நம்ம சொல்றோம் அவர் நினைவு நாள்னு சொன்னோம் ஏப்ரல்ல அவர் பிறந்த நாள் இப்ப நடந்துகிட்டு இருக்குது இந்த பிறந்த நாளை மூன்று நாட்களாக தஞ்சாவூர் மாவட்டம் நம்ம கொண்டாட போறோம் நேற்று இன்னைக்கு நாளைக்கு அப்படி மூணு நாள் கொண்டாடுறோம் இந்த கொண்டாடக்கூடிய இந்த நிகழ்வில் பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த நிகழ்வை இவ்வளவு சிறப்பாக இங்கே நடத்தியாக வேண்டும் என்பதுல ஒரு கடந்த கடந்த ஒரு எட்டு ஒன்பது மாதமாக கடுமையாக உழைத்து அதை சிறப்பான முறையில் நடத்தி இருக்கக்கூடிய நம்ம ஜேஆர்சி மூலமாக தஞ்சை இங்க எல்லோருக்கும் அதிகமான லயன்ஸ் கிளப் ரோட்டரி கிளப் என்ன அமைப்புகள் இருக்கோ என்ன சேவை அமைப்புகள் இருக்குதோ எந்த
படிக்கின்ற மாணவ செல்வங்கள் மேலும் பல கலைகளையும் திறன்களையும் பெறுவதற்காக வெளிநாடுகளுக்கு செல்கிறார்கள் செல்பவர்கள் பலர் அந்த நாடுகளிலேயே தங்கி விடுகிறார்கள் தயான்சந்த் என்ற ஒரு ஹாக்கி வீரர் ஜெர்மனியில் உலகக்கோப்பையை இந்தியாவுக்காக வென்ற பொழுது அந்த நாட்டுடைய அதிபர் உனக்கு பொண்ணும் பொருளும் தருகிறேன் பெரும் பதவி தருகிறேன் ராணுவத்திலே நீங்கள் எங்களுடைய நாட்டுக்கு வந்து விடுங்கள் சிட்டிசன்ஷிப் தருகிறேன் என்று சொன்ன பொழுது தயான்சந்த் மறுத்து நான் இந்தியாவில் பிறந்தேன் இந்தியனாகவே வாழ விரும்புகிறேன் என்று சொல்லி அந்த வாய்ப்பை மறுத்து விட்டார் அதே போன்று மக்கள் குடியரசுத் தலைவர் அப்துல் கலாம் அவர்கள் பல்வேறு வாய்ப்புகள் வெளிநாடுகளில் அவருக்கு வந்த பொழுதும் அவர்களும் அவற்றை எல்லாம் மறுத்து இந்திய திருநாட்டிற்காக உழைத்து இந்தியாவுடைய பெருமையை ஏவுகணை நாயகன் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவுக்கு மக்கள் குடியரசுத் தலைவர் என்று சொல்லக்கூடிய அளவுக்கு புகழ்பெற்று என்னிடம் நம்முடைய நெஞ்சங்களை வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் காந்தி கலாம் அன்னை தெரசா அவருடைய வாழ்க்கை வரலாறுகளை மாணவ சொல்லுங்கள் படித்து அவருடைய வழியில் நாம் வாழ்ந்தோம் என்று சொன்னால் நம்முடைய இந்திய திருநாடு மிக மிக விரைவிலே அப்துல் கலாம் கண்ட கனவான உலகிலேயே மிகச்சிறந்த நாடாக வல்லரசு நாடாக நல்லரசு நாடாக இந்த வேர்ல்டு பிக்கெஸ்ட் டெமோக்ராட்டிக் கண்ட்ரி என்கின்ற அந்த பெரும் புகழோடு பல்வேறு சாதனைகளை படைக்கும் இந்த ராமானுஜம் நினைவு நூற்றாண்டு நைன்டீன் டுவெண்ட்டி டூ டுவெண்டி டுவெண்ட்டி இந்த நூற்றாண்டிலே வரக்கூடிய நூத்தி முப்பத்தி மூணாவது பிறந்தநாள் விழாவிலே இந்த காணொலி வாயிலாக நடக்கின்ற இந்த பயிலரங்கில் இருக்கின்ற அத்துணை மாணவர்களும் மாணவிகளும் ஒரு உறுதி ஏற்றுக்கொள்வோம் எந்த நாட்டுக்கு வேண்டுமானாலும் செல்வோம் ஆனால் எந்த நாட்டுக்கு சென்றாலும் அந்த நாடுகளில் இருந்து பல்வேறு கலை செல்வங்களை பெற்று அவற்றை நம்முடைய நாட்டுக்கு கொண்டு வந்து பாரதி கண்ட கனவை நனவாக்குவோம் நம்முடைய நாட்டை வளமிக்க புகழ்மிக்க திறன்மிக்க சிறந்த நாடாக இந்த நல்ல நாளிலே உறுதி பண்ணுவோம் என்று சொல்லி தந்தாய்ப்பு நன்றி கூறி விடைபெறுகிறேன் வணக்கம் வாழ்த்துக்கள் எல்லாரும் சப்போஸ் உங்களுக்கு லிங்க்ல ஏதாவது ப்ராப்ளம் அப்படின்னா காண்டாக்ட் நம்பர் நைன் ஜீரோ ஃபோர் டபுள் டூ ஜீரோ சிக்ஸ் நைன் சிக்ஸ் டூ உங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது டவுட் கொரிஸ் இருந்ததுன்னா காண்டாக்ட் நம்பர் நைன் ஜீரோ ஃபோர் டபுள் டூ ஜீரோ சிக்ஸ் நைன் சிக்ஸ் டூ திருப்பி சொல்றேன் நைன் ஜீரோ ஃபோர் டபுள் டூ ஜீரோ சிக்ஸ் நைன் சிக்ஸ் டூ சாட் பாக்ஸ்ல அடிச்சிருங்க அந்த நம்பருக்கு காண்டாக்ட் பண்ணுங்க ஓகே சார் தேங்க்யூ சார் தேங்க்யூ YouTube viewers, உங்களுக்கு சாட்ல வந்து அந்த எக்ஸாமோட லிங்க் போட்டிருப்பாங்க அந்த லிங்க கிளிக் பண்ணி நீங்க எக்ஸாம் அட்டன் பண்ணலாம் எக்ஸாம் முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறமா உங்களோட பார்ட்டிசிபேஷன் சர்டிபிகேட் உங்க மெயில் ஐடிக்கு த்ரூ மெயில் ஐடி வழியா வந்துடும் லிங்க் போய் பேஸ் பண்ணிருக்கோம் பா ஆன்லைன் குயிஸ் கான லிங்க் அதை யூஸ் பண்ணி நீங்க அட்டெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க இப்ப எல்லாரும் லெஃப்ட் ஆயிடுங்க மீட்டிங் லெஃப்ட் ஆயிட்டு நீ அந்த இத காப்பி பண்ணிக்க லிங்க காப்பி பண்ணிட்டு மீட்டிங்கை விட்டு லெஃப்ட் ஆயிடு பா அடுத்த செஷன் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆக போதே ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் வெயிட் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்காங்க உங்களுக்கு இல்ல நீங்க யாரும் இனிமே இந்த லிங்க்ல வரவேனா நீங்க கிளாसेस ஹேண்டில் பண்ணுங்க ரெகுலர் கிளாसेस போய்டுங்க லஞ்ச் முடிச்சிட்டு லிங்க் குயிஸ் புரோகிராம் முடிஞ்சு திரும்ப லிங்க்ல வராதீங்க உங்களுக்கு கிடையாது போயிட்டு இருக்கு இஸ் கிளியர் ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் எஸ் மேம் ஓகே थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम அந்த ஆன்லைன் குயிஸ் புரோகிராம் லிங்க காப்பி பண்ணிட்டு எல்லாரும் லெஃப்ட் ஆயிடுங்க மீட்டிங்ல இருந்து நெக்ஸ்ட் செஷன் வந்து கமிங் फ्रॉम 12:40 ஃபார் ஸ்கூல் ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் சோ நீங்க யாரும் உள்ள என்டர் ஆகாதீங்கமா 
ப்ளீஸ் லெஃப்ட் ஆகுங்க எல்லாரும் புதுசா என்ட்ரி ஆயிருக்கவங்க வெயிட் பண்ணுங்க செஷன் 12:40 க்கு ஸ்டார்ட் ஆகும் நம்ம காலேஜ் ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் ஆயிடுங்க ஆதிரை பிரத்யுஷா லெஃப்ட் ஆகுங்கமா மேம் அப்படியே நேம் சொல்லுங்க மேம் நம்ம ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் நேம் சொல்லுங்க அப்படியே லெஃப்ட் ஆக சொல்லிடு பிரதீக்ஷா அபிஷேக் அருண் பிரியன் அபிஷேக் अर्चना பிரத்யுஷா ஸ்ரீ தர்ஷினி பவதாரணி தேவி பிரபா எல்லாம் லெஃப்ட் ஆகுங்கமா நேம் வாசிக்கிறவங்க எல்லாம் சங்கீதா சங்கீதா லெஃப்ட் ஆயிடுங்க
ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இன்னும் ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ்ல செஷன் ஸ்டார்ட் ஆயிடும் வெயிட் பண்ணுங்க ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வந்துட்டு இருக்காங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் வராத பசங்களுக்கு இன்ஃபார்ம் பண்ணி ஜாயின் பண்ண சொல்லி சொல்லுங்க மீட்டிங்
ನೂತಿ ಅರವತ್ತೆಂಟು ಬೇರೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಗೊಂಡು ಒಂದು ವಿಮಾನ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಹದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಡಲಲ್ಲಿ ಮುಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದಾಯಿರ ಬಳಿ ಉಯಂತ್ರಿ ಪಾಲನೆ ಹೋಗಿರುವ ಕಾರಣ ತೋಡು ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಸಿಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ನಾಟಕಗಳನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಟ್ಲಿ <laughs> 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 ಒಂದ್ಪಿನ್ <laughs> 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 ಉಂಗಳೋಡಾದ್ರೂವಾ <laughs> ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ನೀವು ಬೇಸಿಗೆ ಇರಕದ ಎಸಿ ಬಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅದ ಪಿನ್ ಮಾಡುಂಗ ಅವಂಗಳ ವೇವ್ ಬರೋ ಅದ ಪಿನ್ ಮಾಡಿರಂಗ ವರ ಮಾಡಂಗ ಹಾ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಹಲೋ ಐ ಮೈ ಆಡಿಬಲ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಡಿಯಬಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಡಿಯಬಲ್ right. so so you are all you know in the uh, in which standard you know you people are whether you know 11th standard or 12th standard in standard what what 8th standard 10th standard 10th standard oh 10th standard that's good that's good that's good okay you know today you know we shall talk you know something about uh, you know the mathematics in a daily life okay so mathematics in daily life means you know everybody you know gets confused because daily life mathematics is quite boring what they teach you you know in uh, classrooms that's very much uh, you know uh, boring so but so let us talk about you know something of the mathematics which is not at all you know in the textbook so i will start you know on the ppt uh, presentation so then you know we shall see you know what can be done you know in you know, for mathematics you know in daily life okay so let us see
this i have to share mm. in the We know these people. Tabi, and that they are cooked as well. That you are cooked as Sarah Hugo, Sarah. Who bring us an order? I have to share you know this video. I have to share this video. I have to share this video. I have to share this video, you know. Video has to be shared. It's not going. This has to be shared. from last week if a maker has 50 cubes of sugar and a maker leaks 40 cubes of sugar what will a maker have uncle i cynthia uncle if a maker leaks 40 cubes of sugar you have diabetes <laughs> answer do you all understand do you all understand i assume you all understand what i don't understand from here from where from the beginning what don't you understand here what don't 
to understand here. This is X. X has cancelled X and X has cancelled X. One X equals to two X and one is equals to two. So what don't you understand? I understand. Sit down. What? What? Okay, I don't understand. From where don't you understand? From where? From last thing. <laughs> Yes, what about my presentation? Yeah. Which slide, sir? I have to present, I have to talk. No presentation. So now you know you have seen, you know, in Nigeria, this is a video, you know, from Nigeria. And what is the kind of a presentation, you know, they have made. The teacher, he has proved, you know, wrongly, one is equal to two. Can one be equal to two? No, it can never be, isn't it? So, but the thing is that, you know, the classroom situation, so that is the way, you know, it has been done, you know, in Nigeria. But it is only a comedy. It's only a kind of a comedy video of Mark Angel. So, Nigeria, you know, is just like, you know, India. And the message of the problem, the moral of the problem, the video is that if this kind of a mathematics teaching is there, definitely, you know, people cannot understand. So, but this is not, this is the way it is, you know, everywhere. So mathematics is not at all made interesting. So it is not shown, you know, to be in daily life. So let us see, you know, what can the mathematics be in a daily life? We have to present PPT. Let's go to PPT. Yes, one, turning the train, yeah. This is the one that's done. This we have to share. So you have all seen, you know, train. The turning the train is a very big problem because train is, you know, very, very long and it cannot be turned, you know, like a cycle. It cannot be turned like a motorbike. Even it cannot be turned, you know, just like a bus or a car. So turning a train, you know, is difficult. More so because it has no gearbox. Piston is directly attached to the turning of the wheels. And Indian Railways, you know, has used mass in a three locations just to turn the train. So let us see, you know, what happens. So this is the Darjeeling train. In fact, this the Darjeeling train is also called as, you know, a toy train. And it has also been declared as a heritage uh, train. In fact, if the, uh, if the people of my generation know this train very well because it was used in a film called Arazana. In fact, one fun, one song called Mere Sapano Ki Rani Kab Ayagitu was shot, you know, in this uh, train. So this is the, the Darjeeling toy train. This is running between Darjeeling and Jalpaiguri. Train has to go up 3,000 feet and this journey is not at all smooth. Train goes up and down and makes lots of turns and a twist. Added to this is the weather, which changes at the wink of an eye because at 3,000 uh, feet, Lot of mist is there, just like this. So the tracks are not at all visible, and the atmosphere is very, very misty, and nobody can see beyond 10 feet or 20 feet, etc. In fact, it is also like this. Lots of forest is there. Lots of uh, you know that uh, the fog is there, etc. And you see the train. You know how it goes. It goes up. It goes down. Everything you know it goes. So. So it just, you know, the, it is a mountainous terrain. So it is a very, very difficult. So this is the kind of a highest altitude railway station in India called, you know, Ghum. So it looks like, you know, any other ordinary station, but this is the high, highest all, uh, station, you know, in India. So it has to pass through, you know, this station also to go to that, uh, that uh, destination. You see this, what kind of a turning, you know, it takes to Dehradun. So it just goes up or down, it takes a turn, left, right. Now this is also called, you know, highest railway line, you know, in the world. Okay. Added to this is a special place called, you know, agony point. I am speaking about that. Agony means, you know, pain. So what is that kind of a pain, you know, the train has? You see this. This is called as, you know, agony point. Agony point means, you see this, what is happening there? A train is taking a long detour. Detour means, you know, long circle it goes in a long circle 
comes to the same point and there is a bridge and over that bridge you know it just goes so what is the problem here the train has to take a 90 degree turn so 90 degree turn the train you know cannot make so the train is made to go into a long circle and it comes back to the same point that's why it goes do you know the speed you know it goes it goes you know at the five miles you know per hour speed that's why it is on any point at this you know to make in a turn you know 90 degrees to make the turn in you know, a train at this angle they make the train to go in a long circle this means train has to make 360 degrees in a circle to take a 90 degree turn so there is another problem you know at mysore bangalore road and railways have a different problem you know here they have to turn the engine at 180 degrees so the problem is this the train arrives from mysore the train you know has to go back to mysore but there is no space to make a big circular path as in agony point so they drag the engine on a circular platform and then turn the platform half around half around means 180 degrees the engine you know turns towards mysore and this engine is attached to the train and then you know it goes chalo mysore it just grows so what is the problem there this is the kind of a turntable, you know, they you just use it. In fact, turntables are used to turn the train at a different angles. So you see this platform at Nuremberg. So this is to make accommodate, you know, more engines, more trains to turn the turn it into different angles. So that you know the train engine is attached to different trains at and the the, the trains you know go off. So the problem, the moral of the story is this. To turn the train into 180 degrees, it is brought over a platform, and platform itself is turned. That's how you know railways you know have solved the problem. Yeah. So to turn the train into 180 degrees, railways have used a turntable. So one such there is another kind of a problem to turn the train. Railways have more than the rural, more rural stations you know in remote areas. One such rural station is at Kolar, which is my town. Here also the railways have a turning train problem so here this is the kind of a rural station we have in Kolar and here the problem is different so from Bangar pet station the train is coming and from Bangar pet station train has to go back there is no space to provide a loop path to turn the train remember this agony point they had the train is meant to go in a circular path and uh, but there is no space you know there and there is no turntable also, you know, to, in Polar. To make a turntable, we require a lot of electricity, lot of hydraulics, etc. So the railways have used a geometrical theorem to turn the train. So what is that kind of a theorem? So you all know the internal angles of the triangle add up to 180 degrees. We just say in a right angle, in a triangle, any triangle ABC, angle A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees. That is the internal angles. But do you know another theorem that the external angle of the triangle adds up to not 180, but double that, that is 360 degrees. So the path laid out at Polar, the train is coming from Bangar Pet, goes from point to point, crossing the vertices of a triangle so that it covers all the external angles thereby turning its face to bangar pet it is like this see the triangle here and look at the arrows so the triangle is coming the uh, the the train is coming you know from the bangar pet it goes to the external angle you know from uh, look at the arrows from a to uh, to b and then you know it goes back again and then you know forward again that's how you know a theorem is used to return the train so i can also just show it you know here see the train you know let us say you know i will reverse it train is coming from here it just you know goes you know like this it comes back and then you know it just turns and it just turns in fact you can just imagine this what put you know an object and let's just take a chalk piece you know here it just you know goes up or a pen cap also you can use it and it just you know goes back 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 and then you know just you know, comes forward so you will see that the turn the, the the engine itself you know turns you know towards it so this is the kind of a practical application you know railways have 
So three different stations are there. At one station, the train has to turn 90 degrees. So they make it, you know, a giant circle and a bridge to turn the train at 90 degrees. At Mysore, the train, you know, has to take 180 degrees turn. So they put it on a platform and turn the platform itself 180 degrees. At Kolar, they, there is no platform. There is no, you know, big uh, circle. So they use, you know, this uh, triangle uh, theorem. That is, external angles of the triangle add up to 360 degrees. That's how they have solved the problem. So that's how it is. So let us go back. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Now, anybody, everybody knows, you know, how to fold a paper. For example, you know, any paper looks like this. This is that A4 size paper. So let us say, you know, we shall, we shall fold the paper once, you know, like this. So second time we fold, third time we fold, fourth time we fold, fifth time we fold, sixth time it is very, very difficult to fold. In fact, it is said, Nobody can fold a paper more than, you know, eight times. But it so happened, one high school student, you know, called Brittany Gullivan, she folded, she was told, you know, in the classroom, how that the, any paper cannot be folded, you know, more than eight times. But do you know what she did? She went after the class to the bathroom. She found that a toilet paper. She began to fold that paper and she, after her astonishment, she folded it more than eight times. So now we shall see. Now we shall see, you know, what, uh, how, you know, she folded, you know, the paper. We shall see that. Okay. Right. Hello, I'm Brittany Gallivan. Have you ever heard the commonly accepted belief that no one can fold a piece of paper or anything in half? Why do these people go up? Why don't you have a place to meet? So this has to be shared. Okay. This is shared. My author heard the Hello, I'm Brittany Gallivan. Have you ever heard the commonly accepted belief that no one can fold a piece of paper? Students, are you seeing this? That was six folds for this piece of paper. Back in 2001, my honors pre-calculus instructor challenged anyone in the class to fold anything in half 12 times. This is a sheet of gold foil, four inches by four inches, 11 millionths of an inch thin. It is actually thinner than the wavelength of visible light. I folded the four by four inch gold foil in half 12 times. My teacher stated that he had misspoken and that the challenge was actually to fold any piece of paper in half 12 times. The paper folding challenge is often used as an example of exponential growth. If you fold paper in half, 50 times you could reach the sun. Every time you fold the paper, these double. So what people were taking into account for was the radius section. In an initial fold, the radius section is minimal. As the folds get larger, this radius section takes up more and more paper. Although this doubles, the amount of paper that you need in the radius section for each fold actually squares. As your number of folds increases, you need four times the length to achieve the next fold. I derived two limiting equations for folding anything in half. One was for single direction folding. When solving for length pi times the thickness over 6 multiplied by 2 to the n plus 4 times 2 to the n minus 1. And then the second equation was for alternate directional folding. Width is going to equal pi times thickness times 2 to the 3 n minus 1 divided by 2. I researched online and found paper that was 33,000 of an inch thin that was 4,000 feet in length. I quickly realized that material this thin was not going to work because the slightest breeze would ruin the attempt. I found a space called the village at Indian Hill in Pomona. It had a long corridor that would suffice to take on this challenge. After eight hours of crawling on the mall floor, 
I was able to successfully fold the paper in half 12 times. This here is the 11th fold. It's great to be in the record books and to finally set the paper folding record straight. I hope that others can look at this challenge and take it on themselves and maybe even expand on it and take on their own impossible challenge. Come back. So you see how Brittany Gullivan, a high school student, she did not just you know listen to her teachers. She just experimented with it, and this kind of a myth of not holding the paper more than eight times was busted. So it was busted because she began to experiment it. That's what you people you know have to do. Just you know, don't believe you know whatever the teachers say, and go on doing you know on your own. Okay, let us see how you know a giant paper you know has been folded you know more than twelve times. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. No, no, no. Holding paper. People go to paper. Yes. You hold paper. Yes. No, there is a video. Video, 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 video. No, no, come back. Come back. Yes. Fold paper itself. No, put it in the Okay, sir. This is fold galley one. How many times? Ah, yes. Yes, sure. That. Oh, no, 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 not this. We have Hello, I'm Brittany Gallivan. There is only Mythbuster paper. Okay, let us see. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, paper. Paper, paper is there. Huh? No, 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 it is not that. It's not that. Okay, we shall forget about it. So, okay, shoelaces PPT. Yeah. Show me, show me first. I have to introduce. I have to introduce. I have to show me more. Show my face. Okay. okay, this is another kind of application of mathematics I am sharing with you because of the lack of time. So, shoelaces, you know, you all of you know, wear shoes, you know, in your uniform. How many types of shoelaces you know you can just tie it, and what is the mathematics behind? Just you know, I am showing you know that. Yeah, okay, do it. Shoelaces, PPT. Yeah. This is, let us say you know what is the mathematics of shoelaces. Yeah. So the shoes, you know, everybody, you know, makes a kind of a shoelace. And because, you know, you have to tie that kind of a shoelace. Sorry, please. See, this is the normal kind of a lacing, you know, you people just to do it, you know. See, this is, there are so many types of, you know, lacing of the shoe. See, there is a lattice, there is a hidden knot, there is a ladder type, display, loop back, etc. In fact, it has been classified also. See, have a kind of a closer look. This is the kind of a sawtooth. This is the shoe store. This is parallel way of throwing it. This is called a you know, railway track. This is military way of doing it. This is the crusade way, staircase way, crisscross way. There are so many kinds of you know how you know shoeless you know is made. In fact, totally, do you know how many ways you know you can just uh, do it? There are 51 use 51 ways of tying you know shoelaces, and also the same way of, you know of untying it. Did you know that there are 51 ways, you know, like this? Okay, now. So, what is the uh, uh, oldest kind of a shoe record, you know, we have of tying laces? It is called as, you know, Arani One Shoe. In the 3500 BC, we have that kind of a proof that, you know, this kind of a shoe, a like leather shoe, has been tied, you know, like this. So, it is difficult to determine the exact history of shoelaces, but archaeological records of footwear are very rare because Shoes were generally made of materials that are deteriorated readily. But in 3500 BC, a sample leather shoe is, you know, has just you know, come up. Okay, that's history. Now, do you remember you know, this man? This is fellow is called as Carl Frederick Gauss. Gauss was a mathematician whom all of you, you know, know and study. 
because this kind of a curve is called as you know gaussian curve and this gaussian curve you know comes up in mathematics you know in so many ways in fact this is called as you know normal curve or a kind of a bell curve so this gauss was given you know this kind of a problem so imagine this kind of a shoelacing so mathematicians do you know what they do they always you know they play with you know x and y so x1 x2 x3 x y1 y2 y3 this is the way you know you just you know tie you know the shoe see what gauss did gauss you know did, compared it you know with with polygons of many vertices so he just uh, just you know uh, uh, did not uh, he how he saw this x1 y1 x2 y2 etc etc he saw it as a problem of polygons see look at this we are having regular pentagon irregular pentagon triangle complex polygon irregular hexagon concave hexagon etc he saw that this kind of a shoelaces uh, you know tying shoelaces as a polygonal problem so the shoelace formula or a shoelace algorithm is also known as gauss's area formula it is a kind of a mathematical algorithm so a simple pol polygon whose vertices are described by their cartesian coordinates what do you mean by cartesian coordinates that's a kind of a graph problem so whenever you make in you know, a graph that is called as in you know, a cartesian graph so what he did was this imagine this kind of a shoelace uh, problem you know tying in a shoelaces like this and he imagined you know a b c d e you know just like this so in a, in a a b c d e in a regular you know anti clockwise problem so by each point in on a graph is told you know in x and y this is x this is 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 y so a b c d represented in you know, on a graph you know through x and y he found that you know that this kind of a x and y problem you know it can be made like this 2 x is multiplied with you know y you know down like this not with this it is down like this and this y is multiplied you know with the x this x again multiplied with uh, with uh, with 6 or or y again this cross kind of a multiplication just like you know you go do it you know in the shoelaces then it is just like this x1 y2 x2 y1 x2 y3 x3 y2 x3 y1 just like this so just like you know shoelace problem you know if you were to do it you will get you know this kind of an equation so so there is another kind of a side to it that is called as you know gaussian problem okay there is another side so operation tiderens was so the uh, war operation so this uh, shoelace shoe problem is connected you know with this war problem that's why i am putting this it was liberated by mount batten so who was mount batten mount batten was first governor general of india how shoelace you know pattern was used in history is a very interesting thing so singapore you know was occupied by japanese and mount batten was the commanding officer you know who liberated you know singapore so mount batten you know had his eighth army british eighth army british eighth army had this nepalis or the gurkha soldiers these gurkha soldiers you know were uh, were unpaid unpaid means they were illiterate but another problem was also there these are the gurkha soldiers look at their faces their faces match you know these japanese faces so gurkha soldiers and japanese uh, soldiers you know looked alike so it so happened that you know these people you know how to recognize you know one is a nepali soldier or a gurkha soldier and also a japanese soldier so gurkha and japanese had mongoloid faces but the, their shoe laces you know were different so look at that so the, the british people you know had in our gurkha soldiers you know had this kind of facial laces british uh, these japanese soldiers you know had this kind of facial laces so japanese gurkha soldiers were told look not don't look to their faces look to their shoe laces and then you know just uh, you look to their shoe laces and then you know if it's a friend you just you know, accept it if it is an enemy you just you know shoot see look how you know the shoe laces you know decided you know the singapore war Okay. Outside. Outside. Do we have time? Uh, then close. Okay. Do we have time? Close. Okay. Nice. Yes. Yeah.
So now you know I have given you, you know two examples of two examples of how you know mathematics is applied in daily life. One is that paper holding problem, and another is shoelace problem. So whether it is a shoelace or a paper holding problem, everywhere there is mathematics. Children, that's how we you know the mathematics you know has permeated permeated everywhere. So I do not have so many things you know to I wanted to so much share you know so many things with you. I have shared, you know, only you know two things with you. One is a turning train, another is shoelace problem, another is in the folding the paper. Wherever, whatever it is, it is a kind of a mathematical problem. So this is a kind of an introduction I wanted to just give you how mathematics has permeated all of our life. So thank you very much. You want to speak? Yes. Yeah. Students, if you have any doubts. Manavaragal, Tangal Gayden, Ayam Rundal, Kerkala. No doubt, sir. No, just medium. Okay, okay, thank you. Unbarna Mana Manavile Petrolum in the negative lepangate to the Waipundu, in a way, in the inipulating in the Athoni Perium, Mindamari, Manang American Rome, Mudivilla the Trim and in the Mamadidan, Rulaka Gandhi the Mere, Ramanajam. Our Lord, yeah, Neneu Nutrandu and the Nutrand delivery here, Nuti Muputti Muna was the Pernanal and the Mamma then Muputti Mundra Vaidre Marehira Numpala under Vandarandal Indre Pala Valanci, Ula and Ardal country, country, the Vipuri girl. Is the very our contributed the theatre and lay in them. I wish the country and the Lok. Our day, Padipical Mirichapa, Irkinra Ganidam, Nichi Maha, Ilidaha Kakakodi or Padam, at the Aro Toto Pendal, Ungode Varki, Nichi Maha, Serapa Kerkum, the Yemile, in the Vida Ville, in the Karatarangatele, the Vinadi Vinanashi Gila, Pangatram, Nichi Maha Kudutu with the Yendran Solavendum, Yendral, Max Legend, Ulakama Mede, our Lord Yev, or Vida Ville. Namum or Pangalipu, Petri Grom, in the Perimikri Vishim, Nanever Kime, only in Vailaka, Sandil, Varanga particular there, and the Sandil Hill, Nichi Maham would be a violently Marakam Dia or Pirmium, Marakam Dia or Santoshatim, Vilakim, and Rambu Grom, in the Nigachiki, Dili Vinyan Prachar, Madia Sang Damipu, and the Mudamekuru, Uripur, the Sukumar Nagar. Mikitrapaka, Titamite, our day very out of the body in the Nigiti Alam, Mikitrapaka, and Rebutic in the Avergal in the Nigiti, Nerisi, the Nandu Gurumare, and Borka to Gulinde. Never come, when I come, Pavan Toka, the Romanero, Ella Kathi to the Nanga, always technically the Munadi College students, Atanman, Atanman students, Solir, Nula, and try it in the air. Any of Pathings Nak and the Madian Eratlum, Bolo, Manor, Rumba, Pangator, Pade. Saru and Makani Mari Ramana Jum and the Prandanal Natra Kundada Patada and Torchiaga in Tum Kundada Padre, a Puripaha Rasu Puriel Kaluri La Kondari Tragranga, or Ulaham Murudan Kundari Kunta Krakal, a Pri Kundada Puria Mandil Nam Prandra Krom, Kundada Padapuri or a Mandala Mukandra Krom, Pala Kani the Medical, Kani the Medical, Palaturum, Nibula Laga Volun or Lakan Amalam, Varavendum, other K Nichia Maha in the Indri Naranda and the Kani the Chel Badakalum, other pull away, Nate Rada than Negar Vukalum. Three local from Gudivi Ramagar Kunakra, Ningala Kuranda Rumba, Kanida Tipurta Vari, Adundu Rala Tirmanaman, Alla Mudivaka Pudi, Artley, Walaka Pudi, Rumba Arum, Urupakum Patanaka, Arvatiram, Walakunda Mayanal, other Anaitu Trahilum, Pripan, Patam Snaka, Kanidam, Illa, Ture, Ille, and Sulom, Abdi Kanidam, basic, that is Adipari, Anaitu Madipari, other than Mundu Kunja, Nala Arvati, Arutu Kaka, Twingan Mayanal. Illame Namayapadum, Illame Namasatium and the Katam, Padan, the Ulahamudum, Karanda Kalatrikumatamala, Warakudi, a neutron recumana candidate, Namukur Krasu, Warakudi, a neutron recumana, Shaman Athana, Southern Hill, our Nilti, which is in Rekra, Nam Kadrukam of Rupita the Pola, Serapu, and one Sambu Maherkalam, European with the Sarsira Maherk and Mansulwar, a pretty Muripuri, Sarsira, particularly a man of Chulangalaha, Ningal, Paravindum, the Chiamaha into Namuria, Dr. Sastri, our Hill. Again, the Neradia, Delhi, Kodi, Yan Prachar, Chandavu, Kola, Tanga Vaile, Pange, Wasipo, 
அவர் சொந்த ஊரை வைத்தே அந்த ரயில்வே அந்த டிராக் அதெல்லாம் வச்சு அவர் சொன்ன அந்த உதாரணங்கள் நிச்சயமாக உங்களுக்கு கடிதத்தில் மிகப்பெரிய ஈடுபாட்டை உருவாக்கி இருக்கும் நீங்கள் ஒவ்வொருவரும் இங்க கும்பகோணத்தில் இருக்கக்கூடிய கும்பகோணம் சுத்தி இருக்கக்கூடிய பல்வேறு இடங்களில் இருக்கக்கூடிய ரயில்வே டிராக்கை பத்தி நீங்க கற்பனை பண்ணியிருப்பீங்க அப்படி அவைகள் ஒவ்வொன்றிலும் அறிவியல் இருக்கிறது ஒவ்வொன்றிலும் கணிதம் இருக்கிறது என்கிற வகையில அவற்றை எல்லாம் நீங்கள் கற்க வேண்டும் அப்படி கணிதம் மீது ராமானுஜத்துக்கு நமக்கு இன்னைக்கு இருந்த அந்த வாய்ப்புகளோ வசதிகளோ இல்லை அன்னைக்கு அவருக்கு இந்த வாய்ப்புகள் வசதிகள் இருந்திருக்குமே ஆனால் நமக்கு இன்னைக்கு கிடைச்சக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பு எல்லாம் கிடைச்சிருக்கும் சொன்னாக்க இந்த கணிதம் மீது இன்னும் எத்தனை எத்தகைய நம்ம பிளானட்டுக்கு மட்டும் இல்ல நம்ம ஏலியன்ஸ் சொல்லக்கூடிய மத்த பிளானட்டுக்கும் சேர்த்து கூட அவர் பல கருத்துக்களை நமக்கு வந்து கொடுத்திருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு நிலைமை இருக்கும் அந்த வகையில நம்ம எல்லாம் ஏதோ சாதனைகளை படைக்கக்கூடியவர்களாக மிகச்சிறந்த கணித நிபுணர்களாக பல்வேறு துறை நிபுணர்களாக வருவதற்கு நாம் கணிதத்தை ரொம்ப ஆர்வத்தோடு கற்க வேண்டும் வரக்கூடிய இந்த கோவிட் காலத்துல நிச்சயமாக இந்த கோவிட் ஏற்படுத்திக்கூடிய பாதிப்பு இன்னும் அச்சுறுத்தல் அடுத்தடுத்த புது அச்சுறுத்தல் எல்லாம் வந்துட்டு இருந்தா கூட அதையும் மீறி நீங்க பாத்தீங்கன்னு சொன்னாக்க நீங்க பங்கேற்று இருப்பதும் நீங்கள் படித்துக் கொண்டிருப்பதும் ஆர்வத்தோடு நம்முடைய விஞ்ஞானி சாஸ்திரி அவர்களோடு நீங்கள் இன்டராக்ட் பண்ணி இருப்பதும் நிச்சயமாக ஒரு பெரிய மாற்றத்தை உங்கள் உருவாக்கும் ஒரு பெரிய அந்த மாற்றம் என்பது உங்க நமது எப்படி ராமானுஜம் உலகம் முழுவதும் பாராட்டப்படுகிறாரோ உலகம் முழுவதும் பயன்பட்டு கொண்டிருக்கிறாரோ மனித குலத்தினுடைய முன்னேற்றத்திற்கு எப்படி பயன்படுகிறாரோ அப்படி நீங்கள் ஒவ்வொருவரும் பயன்படக்கூடியவர்களாக நீங்கள் வருவீர்கள் வருவீர்கள் என்று கூறி உங்களை நெஞ்சார வாழ்த்தி நிறைவு செய்கின்றேன் நன்றி வணக்கம் அனந்தகுமார் காலையில Can you give a word of thanks? Oh yes, definitely. Yes. Yes. So, I'm sorry. Come on, come on, come on. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, right. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Max Department, Sakthivel will give a word of thanks. Yeah. Mr. Kewell, sir. முடியும் <laughs> 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 சரிங்க <laughs> 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 கேமரா மீட் பண்ணுமா Mm-hmm.
பேசுங்க குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் ஆல் இட் இஸ் மை பிளஷர் அண்ட் பிரிவிலேஜ் டு ப்ரப்போஸ் ஏ வாட் ஆஃப் தேங்க்ஸ் இட் இஸ் அவர் கிரேட் ஹானர் பிகாஸ் அவர் சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் ஹேஸ் அக்செப்டட் அவர் இன்விடேஷன் அண்ட் அடவரிங் டுடேஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இன் திஸ் ரெகார்ட் ஐ தேங்க் தி சீஃப் கெஸ்ட் ஆஃப் தி டே ஃபார் டுடேஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் As far as today's function is concerned, we learned many things regarding the importance of origory and mathematics very clearly. He has explained this by his own style. Even a non-mathematical student may be able to understand the theory of the concept. I thank once again. Thank you, sir. Now I take this opportunity to thank the management for having arranged this function. I thank the principal, vice principal and dean of academics for having permitted me to propose a word of thanks amidst you. I happy to propose among these learned members of today's gathering. I thank the person who ever helped directly or indirectly for the successful completion of the day of the today's functions. Thank you one and all. Thank you sir.